friends my name is Claire and today I'm giving you an updated house plant tour so please stick around hi friends my name is Claire and this is my channel woodshed theory here I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me so if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Click the like, click the like. You all are giving me so much support on my recent videos and I'm very grateful. Thank you, it helps a lot. I have been talking about doing an updated houseplant tour. So today I thought we would do that. And I'm excited to show you what my collection is looking like. I'll try to show you everything I can. I have some things that are outside, some things that are inside. I don't know that I have as many plants as I did the last time I showed you. But I do feel good about the state of my plants. They seem to finally be settling in and thriving. We've been here for about a year now. You move your houseplants to another place, another climate. Some sink, some swim, and I'll show you it all. Just come along with me. <laughs> Plants have become a special interest of mine. I wouldn't say I'm great at them, but I love to learn about them, and I love to talk about them, and I love to think about them. So I want to share with you my special interest. I know a lot of you love plants too, and if you do, go ahead and tell me what kind of plant collection do you have in your house apartment dwelling in the comments. Do you have a favorite house plant? I'd love to know. If you've commented about plants before, you know that I've told you and engaged in conversation with you about your plants. So if you watch my porch coffees, you're probably aware of my little seating area and I haven't made many changes except I was gifted this shelf behind here and I thought that would be a great way to add some height and to display some more plants because I just want to be surrounded by plants. So I'll show you all of these. This is just a golden pothos that I was gifted. I recently repotted it so it's kind of bouncing back and it's doing okay. But it's definitely the biggest pothos I own right now. Everything else I've bought as a kind of a growing cutting. So. This one's pretty big. Underneath is a plant that I have had for several years now, actually. It's a type of Japanese sedum, which is a type of succulent. Every year it dies completely back and then grows back and it's so beautiful. So it grows these long pieces and then the flowers will bloom out the end of the pieces and they're a kind of a dusty pink color. So I can't believe it comes back every year, but it does. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. This is my bonsai geranium, which I've had, wow. This is my first ever house plant, guys, and it's still kicking. I need to prune it. As you can see, some of the flowers are dead. I need to deadhead it. But I have had it probably five or six years now, and it has continued to be more of a bonsai kind of project for me and I love it this way. So it might not be for you, it might look a little scraggly because I left it outside all winter, but it is also bouncing back and giving me lots of flowers and I love it. My father loves geraniums, his father loved geraniums, so the first plant I ever bought was a red geranium to help me think about them. I don't know if I can get a good shot of this. Is that a good shot? That's just my asparagus fern. It really likes this sunny yet shady place. Um, it's been doing a lot better. It was almost dead at one point too. So I've been trying to take good care of him. Finally outside, what do we have? Okay. Steve the fiddle leaf fig, who is getting a little bit too much sun, but he's doing really well and I've upped his water and he's actually growing. But last year I almost killed him. We've got a little succulent planter down, planter down here. And that's finally doing well again. That is a beautiful like glass Horthia you can see through. That was almost completely dead and it's coming back. Um, and it's also got a little, is it an Echeveria back there? 
It had jade in it, but it died. Then these two, one, two. Those are the elephant ears that I was recently gifted and I love them. So they are in recovery shock right now, but hopefully they will uh, get big and beautiful and I'm so happy to have them. Back here uh, is a rubber tree cutting that I got from a friend that I dipped in rooting hormone and I'm trying to root. Uh, don't know if it's working, but the leaves are still on it. And I've been watering it, keeping the soil moist, so hopefully that'll work out because I really would like to have a rubber tree. Finally, there's the Monstera Deliciosa and it had to be repotted two times and it's not looking awesome. It's still in its juvenile stage, but it finally rerooted and spit out this new leaf. So we're getting there. We're getting there with the Monstera and hopefully it'll start. I'm hoping that soon it'll start giving me some adult leaves. I got this one at Trader Joe's about a year ago. All right, now we're inside. Here is my golden pothos that I've had for a really long time. I'm trying to remember if I got this one as a cutting from a friend. It's possible, but look how long. And it's continuing to grow. It loves the spot by the window. So that's just a golden pothos. This is a philodendron cordatum, correct? Heart-shaped leaves philodendron. And I had put it in a place where it wasn't getting enough anything. It didn't stop growing, but if you see, all the leaves are very small. So I've moved it to this spot and I'm hoping that it will perk back up. It seems like it's doing better here. So that's the update on this one. This is my slowest growing pothos. It is the Enjoy Pothos. It's so beautiful. It doesn't grow very quickly. It's never given me big leaves. I don't think they have big leaves like other pothos anyway. Um, it had like a growth off the side. I cut it off and gave it to a friend. I just love the way the leaves look, but I'd love to see it thrive even more. So maybe I need to just replant it it's in kind of crappy soil right now. That's my enjoy pothos. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this really well. I don't want to give you the full view out my window and it's backlit right now, but I have three hanging plants in my bedroom window and the middle hanger was a gift from a friend. The other two hangers I learned how to make from YouTube. I uh, did some basic macrame, so how 70s is that? So I'll show you these plants. This one is kind of a struggling string of dolphins, but it's doing a lot better. I've been giving it a lot more water. It's getting some growth up here. Uh, so I think my issue is I'm not watering my string ofs enough, but this one has bounced back as well and is starting to get some healthier, more dolphin looking growth. This is my Raphidophora tetrasperma, my RT, my mini monstera. And I'm so proud of it because last time you saw it, it only had a few leaves. And since then it is thriving. It spits out a new leaf, probably one every two weeks or so. And it's loving the spot I've given it in the window. Here's another one that I have recently moved. It has not been doing well where I had it. It's a philodendron brandy or the silverleaf philodendron. As you can see on the back, it's growing, but the leaves are so small and I'm not sure if I'm not giving it enough water, but ever since I got it, it hasn't been thriving. So if you have any advice, please let me know because it's so beautiful. I wish I could show it better. There you go. It really is pretty, um, but it's just not happy and I want it to be happy. So that's my philodendron brandy. Then my final plant in here is my rabbit foot fern, which has not grown substantially, but it is still alive and doing okay. And you know, I love rabbits and I love their little feet. So 
The rabbit foot fern is a big favorite for me, and I am impressed that it has stayed alive for this long. So I try and give him lots of water and humidity. So pretty. This spot I am so proud of next to this window. It has really taken off and the plants are loving it here. So I guess I'll start from the top. You'd think that that was a lemon lime philodendron, but it's a philodendron Brazil that's doing awesome. And eventually it started growing a just green shoot. Everything else looks like a Brazil. And then there's the lemon lime piece that grew out of another piece of Brazil. I know I should probably cut it off, but I'm not going to because I don't have a lemon lime philodendron. So that is that one looking happy, beautiful. Then we've got my beautiful Addisonii. These leaves are so old. That's why they're starting to brown a bit, but that has grown all the way up here. It stopped growing leaves for a while, and now it's back down around and loving life again. It loves this window. So it's not a bushy Addisonii, but I love it. Here I've got some string ofs. This is a string of arrows, and only one shoot has survived, but it's gotten super long. So it's very happy. And then next to it is string of hearts variegated Carpegia woodii maybe. And she is super happy too. And then finally down here is just the regular string of hearts. Up here we have one of my favorite spots in the house. It loves growing next to this window. I love all of the leaves growing. So over here we have uh, Majula Pothos. Gorgeous. I just have the one piece of it, so eventually I'll probably hack it up and try and make it a fuller plant, but right now I just don't have the heart to do that because I love it so much. I accidentally knocked a leaf off of it the other day and I saved the leaf, even though it's not gonna grow in anything. I felt awful. Uh, this is a new one. This is the Syndapsis Exotica. These are all new leaves, so they haven't hardened off yet. So this is basically the biggest form of the Syndapsis. Then here I've got a Syndapsis Argeus. That's the smaller form. And I've had this forever and it's finally starting to grow back. I pretty much killed it at one point and I cut it into pieces and now we're starting to see some success. So happy about that. Then I have this huge Syndapsis Silvery Ann that I found at the grocery store looking a mess. And I was able to pick it up for 10 bucks and I love it. You can tell it's a silvery end because every leaf is different. Every leaf has the different silver variegation on it. Next to that is my pride and joy, my beautiful philodendron micans. I wish the camera could show you exactly what it looks like. Uh, it's iridescent, it's gorgeous, it's velvety. It's also doing awesome. My little micans love it to death. Loves the spot in the window. And that's a llama vase that my friend just got me for my birthday. How cute is that? All right, I'll turn the grow light off, but I've got two elephant ears down here. This is also another recent acquisition I got as a gift. So those are bouncing back. Back here, I've got a regular string of pearls. Ah! A regular string of pearls. A green novia succulent, which is not doing awesome. I've never been able to get it to thrive. Somebody help me. I guess I'm not a succulent person. There's another variegated string of pearls. So regular string of pearls, variegated. When I bought this, it was totally full. It is finally growing. I guess I'm just meant to kill string of pearls forever, but I'm not going to quit trying. Then back here is a Chinese evergreen aglianema type. It's got one dying leaf on it, so I have to fix that, but it's finally also starting to grow some new leaves since I got it. It's finally settling in. This is one of my favorite shelves. It is my Trescandia shelf. So we've got this thriving 
Tradescandia Nanook. When I purchased this, it was still a little bit hard to find them, but now they've gone mainstream. So go to your local Home Depot or whatever, and you'll probably be able to find one. They're beautiful. This is like a small pot that won't die. It's a smaller version of a Tradescandia, just like a silvery one. And every time I'm like, oh, it's coming back, it just dies off again. So I should just give up on it, but I'm, I'm hopeful. Then there's just like another pinkish Tradescandia. I don't know what that one's called, but it was a gift from a friend. Then we've got a green one that's shiny and it has the purpley underleaves. And then finally I've got a hairy one. When I saw that, I thought I need to buy that. I want a hairy Tradescandia. So then finally, I just turned off the grow light I just put in. Uh, this was also a gift from a friend. That's a philodendron Birkin, which are also a lot easier to find now. This is the first time I've ever successfully grown a leaf out of one. I've killed one before. Uh, this was a birthday gift. It's a Alocasia fry deck, my first ever Alocasia. Just got this brand new leaf. Look at that thing. <gasps> I can't wait. I love, I'm in love with it. And then I just got this one from the nearby Lowe's and it is an Alocasia Amazonica Dwarf. I thought it was the Bambino, but I guess the Bambino has like a thinner leaf. This here is my beautiful Peperomia Peperomoides money plant. I've got another one of those. And I think that one is just staying small because it's in a smaller container, but I love that one. I had to move a few things around. It's hard to see them with the way the sun is in here, uh, but this is one of my favorite, favorite plants. This is a variegated bear claw. I thought it was a succulent, but I think it's a type of cactus. And I love to squeeze its little paws. They fill up with water. It's doing amazing. When I got it, I think it was just one shoot. Now it's like a whole tree and it's just one of my favorites. And he's always happy to see me. This is a snake plant that a friend of mine gave me and it's finally growing after a year. It's my one and only snake plant. This is my, is it butterfly calancho? Let me just tell you, I want this to work so bad. My friend's is looking great. Mine, not so much. Somebody help me. I think they also call it mother of millions. It's so beautiful. And I'm so happy to have one, but mine is not thriving. Please help. This is my sad little Peperomia obtusifolia variegata. It was in my restroom and half of it died, as you can see. It's finally starting to grow a new leaf. So I'm hoping in its new spot it'll do a lot better. Let's see if we can get the new leaf right there in the middle. Beautiful plant. Probably wasn't giving it enough sunlight and water. Okay, I just have a few kitchen plants. This is obviously my baby toes. Not everyone loves these, but I love them. They're so bizarre. They get these flowers that look like space daisies. Don't they look like they belong on another planet? I just love them. And those clear spots at the top, that's where they get their sunlight. So this is one of my favorite plants, baby toes. Here's my very sad Peperomia Hope. I had put it outside, I thought it would do well out there and it got burned. So it seems like it's bouncing back now that it's back inside. How sad. I love you, buddy. You got this. This is another uh, Rifidophora tetrasperma and it is from my original first ever one and only the top cutting survived. It died when I moved, and now it's starting to bounce back. So that's cool, it's still in its juvenile form. Uh, then finally, this is my spider plant. Not very excited, variegated spider plant. It hasn't grown much since I got it, but it is in a small planter. I just like her, so I like her having hair. You can get these at Target, I'm sure you've seen them. Yeah, that's my variegated spider plant. It was also a gift from a friend. Well, friends, uh, I told you, I don't think I have as many plants as I used to, or maybe just the same amount. Everything seems to be doing better than it was. Plants are still bringing me happiness. I have a renewed interest in the summer with plants. I always seem to uh, jump back on the plant wagon. 
So I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about my collection. Any advice that you may have would be so helpful. <laughs> I, I wouldn't consider myself an expert by any means. I love learning about them, but I also feel like, I know I've said this before, I kill about 50% of what I get, which is why in the past I haven't purchased things that were more expensive. For my birthday, I got the Fry Deck, and that's probably the most expensive plant I've ever spent money on. Um, so yeah, any help would be helpful. I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope that you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Y'all are the best. Have a good one, and I will see you on Friday. Bye!